Hi, and welcome to our Client Insight Series with NAB's Transactional Banking. Um, today, we're going to be talking around streamlining your workflows uh, and actually uh, the efficiencies that can be brought to you through NAB Connect. I'm joined today um, with Andrew Hodgins, who is one of our business uh, digital channels consultants, uh, and Tanya Anker, who's an associate director in the corporate transactional banking team. Um, I'm Amber Marotra and the state director in our corporate New South Wales transactional banking team. Um, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land which we meet today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to elders past and present. We'll just kick off now and hand over to Andrew with that presentation. Have we got the presentation up? Yeah, bear with me. Here we go, Andrew. Over to you. Right. Um, uh, thanks. Thanks very much, Amber. Um, so this morning we're uh, going to be talking about um, uh, NAB Connect <clears throat> and uh, and the ability to uh, to uh, streamline your business uh, utilizing a new service that we're offering to our NAB Connect customers. It's known as uh, SFTP for NAB Connect. Uh, so um, SFTP stands for uh, Secure File Transfer Protocol, and it's um, simply a means of being able to uh, transfer data securely between uh, between two organizations. It may well be the case that you're using it already in other areas of, of your business. But in this particular case, we're talking about uh, the ability to, uh, uh, to download uh, your reconciliation or reporting type files uh, from NAB Connect in a secure way, uh, which uh, saves time. So on the screen at the moment, we've got an example of, uh, of a typical uh, uh, a customer's NAB Connect instance that shows the uh, financial file transfer service. And the financial file transfer service is where you're going to find uh, any of your reporting type files that you're getting uh, from NAB uh, on a daily basis. So typically you'll have a user that's going into NAB Connect uh, of a morning, uh, going into the financial file transfer service and uh, manually downloading these files. So in the example that we've got on the screen at the moment, uh, we've got um, uh, uh, a daily NAI file or account information file, and there's various others uh, there as well. So you may well have staff that are, as I said, down, uh, logging into NAB Connect uh, uh, every day or morning, coming into this area of NAB Connect and then downloading those files manually, placing them into, uh, downloading them into a location for then uh, subsequent uploading into your uh, ERP uh, or accounting package. So what we're offering uh, with uh, uh, SFTP for NAB Connect uh, is the ability to uh, to instead get these uh, in an automated fashion, um, uh, automated download, so that essentially these files will be available uh, first thing in the morning when you come into work uh, without a uh, staff member having to come in and manually uh, log into NAB Connect to, uh, to, to manually download these. So the types of files that we're talking about here include, uh, as I've got on the right there, uh, daily account information files. So we offer uh, those in an NAI or BAI2 format. A direct entry returns report, uh, which um, gives you an indication of the uh, returns that have come back from other institutions for your direct entry payments. BPAY reporting, uh, which is your BPAY uh, reconciliation uh, report for, uh, for those who have BPAY uh, as a receivables uh, product. Uh, and merchant reporting uh, or uh, FPOS terminal reporting, which is known as uh, EB165. So there's, there's more included. That's just a sample of the types of reports uh, that you can get uh, via uh, this new service, SFTP for NAB Connect. So uh, in addition to uh, uh, the ability to automate these files, we still, uh, we still deliver them to your NAB Connect uh, so that they're always there going forward in case uh, you need to uh, manually uh, download those uh, going forward. So uh, what's required to set it up? Um, uh, our customers uh, will use their own uh, uh, SFTP client software, and there's many of them uh, that are available out there, uh, both paid for and, uh, and freeware products. Uh, the freeware products are, are certainly adequate um, in terms of security and, uh, and automation, uh, 
to be able to, uh, to meet this need of downloading these files. So I've got a couple of examples up there, such as uh, WinSCP or uh, FileZilla, where you can get, um, uh, as I've said, you can also get some paid for uh, SFTP clients that have got a little bit more functionality, um, you know, such as uh, some scheduler functionality, et cetera. Uh, so in order to set this up, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's really only two bits of information uh, that we need uh, from our customers uh, to go ahead and set it up. That's uh, what we refer to as an SSH key or a public SSH key. Uh, and there's uh, IP address whitelisting on the NAB site as well. So we need, uh, need our customers to have a static IP address or a static range of IP addresses, which will uh, enable us to whitelist uh, the customer IP address on our side. So they're really just the two bits of information that we need um, in order to be able to set this up. Uh, and, and as I've said already, the, uh, you know, these reporting files remain available to your NAB Connect instance for manual uh, downloading going forward if that's uh, needed. And the best bit about this is that uh, we're offering this service uh, free of charge for our uh, NAB Connect customers in terms of the setup and the ongoing use of uh, SFTP for NAB Connect. All right, so I'm just going to do a, uh, a quick uh, demonstration um, using uh, one of the freeware clients that I've mentioned up there, uh, uh, WinSCP. Just share my screen, um, Amber. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is the, the WinSCP uh, client. Hopefully it comes up a little bit larger on your screens than mine. But I'm just going to log into NAB uh, production environment now. <clears throat> okay, so this is a typical view uh, of what you would see um, with, uh, with any of the SFTP uh, client, client software. Essentially on, the, on my right, uh, I've got uh, a view of the uh, uh, the, the, the NAB mailbox where you're going to be retrieving this information from. And there's a series of folders here uh, on the right uh, representing uh, the different file types that we've got um, uh, set up on a per customer basis. So for example, uh, the, uh, the lower folder there is uh, direct entry returns, and then we've got um, uh, various uh, BPAY reporting folders, and the, uh, the top one being uh, daily uh, account information. So if I go into the direct entry returns, for example, you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, files there uh, dating back a while. If I wanted to uh, uh, download those, I just simply highlight one and drag it from the right to the left. So I'm dragging it from the NAB side to the customer side. Copy that and that's done. Um, so uh, obviously, obviously I'm showing how to do this uh, manually using uh, one of the SFTP uh, client softwares, but uh, you know, the best use of this service will be to have this automated such that uh, you're connecting, you're connecting uh, in on a schedule, um, let's say 6.30, 7 o'clock, whenever these files are available. Uh, uh, it's launching automatically, it's logging into NAB, it's grabbing these files, uh, looking in these file folders and grabbing these files and then downloading them to the location that you want uh, to them uh, to appear in uh, you know, when you start work in the morning. All right, I'll just close this down. All right, so um, just going to go on and talk about um, that. that uh, that's a good segue into uh, Direct Link. Uh, so, Direct Link is really taking. Um, uh, this process of SFTP to the next level. Uh, SFTP for NAB Connect is all around about is all around um, you know downloading your uh, reporting files and doing that in an automated way. Direct Link takes it to that next level where we're also talking about uh, including um, uh, the payment side uh, in terms of that automation. So um, so uh, essentially we're talking about the ability to um, you know, upload uh, automatically your uh, your payment files, such as your ABA, your direct entry files. So at the moment, um, you know, staff would be using a NAB Connect such that they're manually uploading these uh, ABA files or direct entry files. Uh, and then uh, staff would come along and authorize or approve those files. Uh, so we're talking about the same process, but getting these um, payment files into uh, NAB Connect in an automated fashion. So there's a secure upload to direct link um, that uh, the data is encrypted 
<clears throat> both to and from uh, uh, Direct Link and our customer. Payment comes into Direct Link, uh, we pass it over to, uh, we, we securely pass it over to NabConnect, uh, and then our customers can go through that same authorization process uh, in NabConnect that they do currently uh, for those manually uploaded files. And the benefit there is, uh, is, um, is twofold. Uh, it's really all around about efficiency in terms of being able to get that, uh, those payment files to us um, uh, in an automated way. But then in, in, in addition to that, it's really around the security uh, as well. Because once those payment files uh, are uploaded to Direct Link and they then appear in your NAB Connect, uh, uh, they can't be edited uh, in any way, shape or form. So this really addresses uh, you know, some, um, uh, some security concerns that customers have around staff being able to manually upload files and then being potentially able to edit those files uh, in NAB Connect. With Direct Link, uh, as I said, it's a completely secure transmission. And once those files come into uh, NAB Connect, they're not able to be edited at all. Um, uh, there's a choice of either, either having them straight through process or having an authorization step in NAB Connect, uh, but with no ability uh, to edit those files. Uh, so uh, as mentioned uh, on, on the screen there, the, you know, there's three levels of security here. There's SFTP with PGP encryption. So PGP encryption just simply stands for pretty good privacy. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of an odd term, but in reality, it's, a, it's an unbreakable uh, uh, encryption standard and it's pretty, uh, pretty much uh, uh, standard across uh, uh, many organisations these days. So um, just uh, talking a little bit further about uh, Direct Link, um, you know, so <clears throat> here's you know, some of the benefits and here's how it works is you can connect up your, um, uh, your ERP or accounting system uh, to, um, uh, to securely send those uh, files uh, to NAB. Uh, you can see the payment status. Uh, you're seeing those in the, in the same uh, payment register as, uh, as what you're used to uh, with NAB Connect. Uh, or you can have, uh, as I said, you can uh, either have an authorization step or straight through processing. And in return, uh, we provide a variety of reports back to our customers. Um, so for example, uh, there's disbursement reports, et cetera, which detail the fate of those payments um, down to an individual transaction level. Uh, and there's uh, those other uh, report types that I've already mentioned, such as your direct entry uh, report types and um, uh, direct entry returns and uh, your daily uh, statement information amongst others. So really Direct Link is a complete automated uh, package which covers off both uh, your incoming uh, payments to NAB in an automated and secure fashion, as well as your uh, reporting going back out of NAB um, to your accounting systems. Okay, have we got any questions? Thank you, Angie. Yeah, we've had a few questions come through. Uh, firstly, if a customer is unable to approve payments in their ERP system, can approval still go through NabConnect? Yes, absolutely. So, uh, so as I mentioned, there's really two models. Um, there's uh, straight through processing uh, available. So that means the payments come in, there's no authorization step required uh, and they, uh, they still appear in your uh, NabConnect payment register. Um, but they're straight through uh, with, with no intervention required. But the other model is, um, is uh, also, as mentioned, we've got uh, uh, the same ability to authorize those same, same uh, payments in NAB Connect <coughs> as, a, as a customer currently has when they're manually uploading those payment files. So we're, we're quite flexible in that regard, either straight through processing or uh, those approval and authorization steps are available in NAB Connect as well. Great, thank you. Also, can we combine payment types into one payment file? Well, we're working on that going forward. At the moment, um, at the moment, it is uh, separate payment files per payment type. So, for example, um, a direct entry is an ABA uh, file format. Uh, BPay batch is another uh, different uh, file format. Um, international TTs are, are, are another different file format. So, going forward, we're looking at introducing uh, ISO two double zero two two, for example, which is a uh, an XML based uh, file format, which um, potentially has the uh, ability to combine those, uh, those payment formats. But uh, as it stands right now, um, uh, each payment type is a different format that's sent to them. Great, you also touched on international TTs there. Can direct link be used for payments from currency accounts as well as domestic payments? 
Yes, yes, indeed. So uh, international TT uh, telegraphic transfer is one of the payment uh, functions for DirectLink and uh, many customers um, who use DirectLink use it exactly in that manner where they're debiting their foreign currency account, for example, and paying those funds away. So yes, that's certainly available. Great. Are we currently working with any ERP providers we haven't worked with before? Yes, so uh, we've, um, we've got a range of activities uh, uh, underway with that. Um, for example, we're currently working with, uh, with NetSuite uh, to uh, Oracle NetSuite to, to um, uh, come up with a, a closer relationship model. Um, so yes, there's plenty of work going on with that at the moment. Excellent. And then we've just got one final question around timings. So what is the timing to switch on the SFTP function and also direct link? Yeah, so the SFTP for NAB Connect, uh, we're looking at around about seven to 10 um, business days to turn that on. Um, but remembering, of course, these reports are always available in NAB Connect in the meantime, um, over that period of time and going forward. So around about seven to 10 days uh, for uh, switching on the SFTP for NAB Connect service. And with DirectLink, DirectLink, uh, there's, there's a bit more com complexity around uh, DirectLink because uh, we're talking about integrating uh, with the customers um, uh, uh, EIP or accounting system, and there's encryption and decryption uh, that surrounds the, uh, the the direct link service as well. Uh, so because of those two factors and the requirement for some testing uh, aspects around that as well, probably looking at around about two to three months uh, for um, uh, an implementation, a full implementation for direct link, uh, depending on you know IT available uh, IT availability on the customer side, um, and you know any lead time. Uh, on the NAB side as well. Thanks, Angie. Great. That's all the questions we have. We will be sending through the FAQs as well following on this webinar, along with the recording as well. That will come through to your inboxes shortly. I'll pass it back to Amber. Thank you both for that. That was really informative. Just to recap then, so our um, concept at the moment, so what it probably looks like for many of you today is that you or a member of your team are currently going into NAB Connect on a daily uh, weekly basis potentially, downloading the statements that are available via that file transfer to do your reconciliation to your ERP. So that SFTP concept is just automating that, providing that to you for free, uh, where you don't have to go in through that concept of logging in to NAB Connect and downloading those statements on a regular basis. So they're there when they get in in the morning and uh, ready to do the reconciliation for you. And then in relation to direct links, obviously, as Andrew has alluded to, that's that step further in terms of that automation and digitization piece. So actually being able to initiate payments from your ERP. So again, saving you going into NAB Connect and whether it's your ERP authorization or whether it's your NAB Connect authorization that you are looking to put in place or retain in place, that's absolutely your discretion in terms of uh, what's required there. We've obviously covered a bit about the technical aspects today, uh, which are important, I think, more around the security. Obviously, it's important for us um, when we're dealing with our customers and holding information and processing information now more than ever. So that's why we've covered that off, particularly during this session. But do get in touch with your transactional banking specialist directly if you've got any additional questions um, after this webinar, because they'd be happy to assist in uh, talking about this further. So this is our second uh, webinar. We've got another webinar next week, which is for cybersecurity. So a hot topic before the Christmas break. Um, and we'll be running these on a monthly basis. So look out for our invitations. Uh, that'll be in your inbox soon. But please do provide some feedback to us. And um, we're hoping that these are informative um, for you and Sean Sharp. So thank you for joining, for us, uh, joining us today.